second place at the moment. Yuka Kavaguti and Alexander Smirnov of Russia. Tremendous short program. But to me, didn't quite get the marks it deserved. the sock out the opening combination a bit messy That's how side-by-side -side spins should be done. They have so much power and speed. one-hand dismount, which is extremely difficult. on the loop. Well, anybody that's heard the commentary 
that we've given from Eurosport over the years would know. I am a massive fan of this couple. Yuka and Alexander, so graceful, so powerful. I love the new look that you got, Alexander. It gives a, a different element. Love the costumes, the color, love the music. But that's poetry in motion. The jumps Beautiful. were messy. Unfortunately, the jumps were messy. for me, Alexandra didn't look comfortable over his skates today. Normally, it's Yuko that's very fragile. When she's jumping, I'm, my heart's in my mouth all the time. But today, she looked solid, and he was the one struggling. So I can't understand that. He's usually so solid on his feet. But a beautiful program, as always, from Tamara. <laughs> I think he was throwing her for a quad there. Lovely position in the death spiral. Very innovative in that final lift with the inverted position and the stop. Great balance point and strength. Tamara is a master at creating new ideas. She always comes up with something new every year, and that's why her couples are special. Split triple twist. He didn't quite catch her. She didn't actually quite make the rotation on that. Which is unusual. Super and clean on the loop. High levels of difficulty in the lifts. But oh how we would have loved to have seen those opening jumps clean. The second double axles were a little bit all over the place and that opening combination was a bit messy. The grade of executions will be down from the judges in how those elements were performed and that could be critical here. Second place. They're not second place skaters, they want to be first. Will they have done enough here? One forty they got for the pre skating in two thousand ten at the Europeans. That's the highest mark they got. Sometimes it's a bit uh, it's a bit different, the level of marking in different competitions, so not completely comparing apples with apples but it's a good indicator yes it is it depends on first of all who skates first where the base mark is set and all that sort of thing and every competition is different but still it is one of those things that you can have as a measuring point judges taking a long time having looked at those slow-mos and 